What's good people, Milan is one of those cities that are outside of a lot of people's radar, but I feel that it is worth a visit. It's a fashion capital and it's home to one of the most beautiful cathedrals in Europe. A Da Vinci masterpiece, great food, and has a very interesting bar scene. Here's a 24 hour itinerary if you don't have much time to spare, but still wanna visit Milan. You have to check out The Last Supper. It's one of those pieces of art that you hear a lot about, you see it in photos and textbooks, but nothing will prepare you for when you see it with your own eyes. It's simply impressive. To see it, you must make reservations well ahead of time and tickets are pretty cheap. I'll link the official website in the description. You will also have access to a guide who can answer your questions, which I'm sure you will have a lot of. Honestly, this alone is worth a visit to Milan. Check out Duomo di Milano. Come to the rooftop at the Duomo during sunset for incredible views of the city. You'll need to purchase tickets for this as well. And of course, I'll leave a link in the description. There are two ways to get up, stairs or elevator. We opted for the stairs because the line for the elevator was super long and we'd probably miss the sunset if we did wait. Once up there, you'll get an up close look at the Gothic architecture and statues. Climb up to the very top of the cathedral for a good spot to chill and plan the rest of your evening. Again, the views here are amazing. If you have time, take a walking tour of Milan. Small walking tours are dope because you usually get a local who can give you great recommendations on what else to see and eat. We went around with Ruth and her doggy Spank on a tour of Castello Forzesco, Arco de la Pace, and the surrounding areas. I'll leave a link to book a tour with her in the description. Spank was the best. I'm sure you're hungry and Milan has plenty of food options for dinner. We opted for Ratana and I definitely recommend it. It was really delicious. We sat outside because the weather was fantastic and the vibes were nice and chill. So when I found out that Milan had one of the best bars in the world, I was excited and very happy to experience it. It's called 1930 Cocktail Bar. The problem was that it was nowhere to be found. I couldn't find it on Google Maps or Instagram, but I was able to find its page on Facebook. I wrote them a message and all I got was this cryptic reply. Friendship is a gift that must be preserved with time and patience. Our friends at MAG are waiting for you. You might find out how to reach us in there. Good luck. They really take the whole speakeasy thing seriously. Anyway, I got my detective hat on and found another bar that was a really cool spot and definitely worth a visit called MAG. But right next to that bar was another bar called the smallest bar in the world. I thought this was 1930 cocktail bar trying to hide itself in plain sight. I saw a person after person go up to it and be rejected, so I knew this had to be it. I tried to befriend the bartender, but they told me that I couldn't get in. They did give me a card with a website to make a reservation. I failed to find and get into 1930, but at least there's hope for next time. It was a fun experience and the cocktails at MAG were fantastic. Well, that's all. I hope you found this tiny guide helpful. And if it was, hit the like and the subscribe button and I'll catch you next time.